Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. In this video and the next few coming videos, we will see what are services in Android and how we can use services in Android. So first of all, what is a service in Android? A service is an application component that can perform long running operation in the background and does not provide a user interface. So a service, you can say it always run in the background and it has nothing to do with user interface. For example, uh, a service can be downloading uh, something in the background or long running database operation in the background. Or you can say if you want to, uh, you know, uh, provide some music in the background, then you can use service for that. Now, a service can essentially take two forms. So service can be started service or service can be bound service. And in this video, we will see what is a started service and how we can create the started service. So a service is started when an application component such as an activity starts it by calling a method called start service method. Okay. And once the service is started, it can run in background indefinitely unless and until it's destroyed by some component. Okay. And what is a bound service? A service is called bound when an application component binds to it by calling bind service method. So this we will see in the later video, but in this video, we will see what is a started service and how we can create it. Now to create a service in Android, we need to subclass from a class called service. Okay. And once you subclass from the service class, the most important call max method you should overwrite are on start command on bind on create method and on destroy method. Okay. So this on start command will start your service and on destroy method will uh, destroy your service on create uh, method. If you want to do some initialization for your service, you can do it here and on bind service you are used to create bind services, but uh, you must implement this even if you are creating started services. So now let's create a started service in our Android application. So I have this uh, blank project and in here I will drag and drop two buttons first button one and button two and I will change the text of this button as start service and the second button text I will name it as top service. Okay. So we have two buttons start service and stop service. Okay. And then I will go to the design of uh, this uh, activity and in here. I will add one more attribute here and this attribute all we will call on click attribute. So on click and what method we want to, uh, you know, perform when this button is clicked, uh, let's say it's start service method and same we want to do with the button, which is stop service. So we will call a method on click which will be a stop service. Okay. So stop service. Okay. Now we want to go to our Java main activity dot Java class. So go to main activity dot Java class. And in here we will uh, create these two methods. So first was start service method. So public void start service and we will call this uh, view and our second method was stop service. Okay. So I will just copy this method and paste it just below it. And this method will be stop service. So once we have created these two uh, methods, start service and uh, stop service, now we can create a class which will subclass from service class. Okay. So I will go to uh, here in this package and I will right click here and I will create a new Java class where my main activity dot Java class is and I will name it as for example, the service. Okay. And I will create it 
and it will create this class called the service and we want to extend from this service class right so extend and we want to extend from service class so extend from service and once you extend from it you will see it will show this little error with this little bulb because there is a method we must implement so just click this uh, bulb and just click implement method and this method we must implement which is on bind even if we are creating a started service we must implement this or overwrite this okay so now this error is gone now we will uh, just add our three more method which we uh, should implement first was on create right so on create second was on destroy or first let's uh, create on start so on start command and the third was on destroy so on destroy okay so once you created or once you uh, implement these method what we can do is i told you you can start a service using this on start command and you can destroy a service using this on destroy command okay so we will do just the same i will delete this line and what we can do is we can uh, create a toast so we know that uh, the service is started so toast dot make text and in here we will uh, pass the context of this class which is this class itself and the second is our message so we can say service started and the third argument will be toast dot length long for example okay dot show and uh, next what we can do here is we will return a constant here so return and we uh, will return a constant called start sticky now what is this constant so when you uh, press your control button and click this uh, constant we will go to the definition of this constant and here you will see this mode makes sense for the things that will be explicitly started and stopped to run for arbitrary period of time and that's what we are exactly doing okay so that's why we are returning this uh, constant called start sticky here okay and inside this on destroy method what we want to do is we want to uh, display this uh, toast message once again but this time we will say that uh, the service is destroyed okay so we know when service is started and when service is destroyed now once we have uh, these method implemented we will go to main activity.java file where we have uh, defined our start service and stop service methods and in here we can call this service or we can start this service using our uh, intent object so we will create an object of intent so intent intent is equal to new intent and it takes first of all the context so first of all this and the second argument will be the service class okay so the service with capital t the service dot class okay and once you create an, an object of this intent you can start service by using this intent so you can just pass this intent object here and you will be good to go same we want to do in the stop service method and this time instead of starting the service we just want to stop it so just do stop service okay so this will start your service and this will stop your service and make sure this name matches the name you have declared here okay so stop service and start service should match these method names once everything is done we just need to do one more thing we just need to go to manifest.xml file and in here 
inside our application we need to create a tag called service or we need to add a element called service so just add service and the service name is the service because our class name is the service here okay and we will close this service and one more thing you can do here is you can uh, add a attribute called android export so android exported and make it false and what this will do is it will prevent the other apps or other activities to uh, use this service okay so once you have done that now let's run our app so now our app is running so when i click this start service button i click the start service button it shows service started but it's running in the background so how we can check that the service is running what you can do is you can uh, go to the settings of your uh, phone so so go to settings and inside setting just click this uh, option called apps and inside the apps there are downloaded apps and there are running apps so just click running apps here and these are the apps which are running so you can see service demo here one process and one service is running okay now for example i close this service demo app so i'm going to close this service demo app and now i will go to the setting and still the service is running now to destroy this service i will start my service uh, demo once again so i will start my service demo app from here and i will click stop service button and you can see service destroyed and once again i will go to the settings and now you can see this service is destroyed and we cannot see this service once again start the service by using this service demo and go to the setting and you can see the service is started and once you go to the demo and stop the service this will be destroyed okay and do remember if you don't stop this service it will keep on running for indefinite time okay so in this way you can uh, use started service in android i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now